In 1821, Tillich's philosophical magazine carried out an unusual item about a stonemason named David Virtue, who made an astonishing discovery while working on a large chunk of rock that had come 22 feet below the surface. Upon breaking it open, he found a lizard embedded in the stone. It was coiled up in a round cavity of its own form, being an exact impression of the animal. It was about an inch and a quarter long, of a brownish colour and had a round head with bright sparkling eyes. It was apparently dead, but after being about five minutes exposed to the air it showed signs of life. It soon ran about with much energy. In 1865, the Hartle Free Press reported that excavations working on a block of magnesium limestone taken from around 25 feet underground near Hartlepool, England, discovered a cavity within the stone that contained a live toad. The report stated the following. The cavity was no longer than its body and presented the appearance of being a cast of it. The toad's eyes shone with unusual brilliance, and it was full of liveliness on its liberation. It appeared when first discovered desirous to perform the process of respiration, but evidently experienced some difficulty, and the only sign of success consisted of a barking noise which it continued on being touched. The toad is in the possession of Mr. S. Horner, the president of the Natural History Society, and continues in a lively state as when found. On an examination of its mouth is found to be completely closed, and the barking noise it makes proceeds from its nostrils. The claws on its forefeet are turned inward, and its hind ones are of extraordinary length and unlike the present English toad. The toad when first released was a pale colour and not really distinguished from the stone, but shortly after its colour grew greater until it became a fine olive brown. There are numerous documented accounts of such findings, mostly involving frogs, toads or lizards. Most often the animals come out alive, and very often there is an imprint of their skin or shape on the cavity in which they were entombed. This raises a number of interesting questions. How could the animal have gotten in there and survived? How did rock which geology tells us takes hundreds if not thousands of years to form take shape around the animal? Also how long could the animal have been in there? So what do you think happened? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.